Welcome to Tuesday, September 22nd. I'm Pastor Jim Krieger from Holy Cross Lutheran Church and School in Saginaw, Michigan, celebrating God's holy word with you today in our daily devotion. The word of God we celebrate together today are the words of Jesus recorded in John 14, verse 27, a timely message for all of us in these times. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Peace in our world, peace in our lifetimes. Peace has always been elusive, short-lived, and is always dependent on the relationships between sinners at best. And at its worst, between the selfish, short-tempered, unyielding leaders and citizens of the world. Peace on earth, when it is left up to sinners, is not the peace described in the Bible. It is not the peace that came into the world with God the Father's gift of his one and only Son. It is not the peace that Jesus speaks about in our Bible verse today, because worldly peace is never lasting peace. Worldly peace is never satisfying and fulfilling. Only through a relationship with Jesus Christ can we as sinners have real peace, lasting peace, wonderful peace with our Heavenly Father, because we are saved by His grace through saving faith in Christ Jesus alone. Through belief and through saving faith in the finished work of the redemption of Jesus through His own life, death, and resurrection, we have a real we have a lasting peace with our Heavenly Father and with one another on this earth. As children of the Heavenly Father, we have the peace that passes all human understanding. The peace that comes to believers through Jesus is also known to us even during times of deep distress, times like we live in today along with all manner of natural catastrophes and disasters. Yes, even in times like these and so many more, we have with us and carry in us the peace of God that passes all human understanding because it is a wonderful, lasting peace based on Jesus Christ. The peace that is often sought of by so many others in the world will always be temporary, but the peace we have been given through Jesus is the peace we have deep, deep in our soul. For the Holy Spirit of God lives in us and grants us all the peace and strength we need for all of our days. Jesus Christ gives us his peace, certainly not a worldly peace, but a godly peace. The gospel of his peace to be known and shared through us, to all sinners in this world of strife, a world filled with broken lives and so much pain, we share this peace willingly and joyfully so that even more would come to believe in Jesus as their Lord and Savior and know God the Father's gift of a lasting, wonderful peace through the power of the Spirit. As long as time exists, as long as this world lasts, sinners will long for peace, perfect peace, precious peace. But there can be no peace on earth without peace with its creator God and a saving relationship of faith in his son, Jesus Christ, who said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives. May God the Father and our Savior Jesus' gifts of real and lasting peace be with each one of us every day of our relationship with him as we rest, as we remain, as we live, as we abide in the peace of Christ that passes all understanding, his wondrous gift of peace that we do not need to comprehend but simply receive and live each day and share as we celebrate through faith, God the Father's gift 
of his son, our Savior Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Let us pray. Loving Father in heaven, we give you thanks for the lasting gift of peace that you provide through your son Jesus. Through your gift of saving faith, I am your child, and I have the gift of your peace in my heart and life each day. Through the powerful Holy Spirit, may I joyfully live and share your wonderful gift of peace to all I meet today, and each day I live and breathe as a child of God, forgiven and redeemed through saving faith in Jesus, my Prince of Peace. In his name, I offer this prayer and the prayer he taught me to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and in Jesus give you peace. Amen. <laughs>